SGC order is here. Let's see what we got. All right, I've been waiting all day for this to get here and it's finally here. For those of you guys who are wondering, it was 12 day turnaround time from when I sent it out until now when I get it back. So not too bad, but let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this. So in this, there was lots of 1950s and I think there was a good amount of pre-war in there too, like some T206s and stuff. Well, let's see what we got first. This is a Yogi Berra. What year is this? This is a 55 Bowman. This one, I believe I was hoping for like a 3.5 or a four on this one. We'll see what we got. Okay, four. That's a good start. I feel like they're a little nicer to these sets just because of how tough it is. I feel like if this was a different set, it probably wouldn't have been given the four, but I'll take it. Not gonna complain. And next is this 51 Bowman Ted Williams. This one is not in terrible shape. It does have a small wrinkle on it and a small wax stain on the back. So this one, I was hoping for a two or two and a half. And it's a one and a half. Still looks pretty good. Obviously, like I just mentioned, they probably knocked it for the small wrinkle here and the wax stain on the back. But it's still not a bad card. What do we got next? This looks like some of the bigger cards coming up. So we got the 55 Jackie. This one is crazy sharp, but way off center. So I know SGC is usually super tough on centering. So I'm hoping they can make it worth it for me to send this one in. I really would have much rather sent this to PSA, but I was trying to hurry and get them back before the show. Either way though, it's a great looking card. Well, I'm hoping for a four. I really don't want anything lower than a four. And okay. So kind of like I predicted, SGC is a little bit tough on the centering side of things. Cause I mean, the surface and the corners of this card are in terrific shape. So that's kind of disappointing, but not much we can do about it. And if that Jackie had some problems, I'm hoping this one does all right. Another one with centering issues, the 55 Hank Aaron, nice second year. This one also looks pretty nice. Hoping they're not as rough on him as they are in the Jackie. This one, I was also hoping for a four. So, okay, this one got the four. Wow, that's kind of crazy. This one is nowhere near as nice as the Jackie, I'd say. Corners on the Jackie are way nicer and the centering really isn't that much of a difference. See the centering there, basically the same. I mean, look at these corners on the Hank. It's pretty chipped, pretty rounded there. And then these ones are just like near mint, but at least we got the grade we wanted on one of them. So that's pretty good. We'll set Hank up in the background also. All right, come on, give me a good grade here. Let's see, 33 Bill Dickey. This one, I don't remember any major flaws on this one. I don't know if it has any creases, not any that I'm seeing at the moment at least. Hoping for a two, 1.5, okay. That's not terrible, at least it's not a one. So 33 Gowdy Bill Dickey. And next up is a 49 Bowman Gil Hodges. Nice Hall of Fame rookie. This one, I bought on eBay. I'm hoping for a four. I don't know if it'll be a four. If I had to guess in between the three and four range. So hoping for four. Holy 1.5. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's super confusing. Bought this one hoping it would be like VG, like a three to a four. I may honestly just crack this one out unless I find what they had that was knocking it. So that one's super disappointing. Let's see if we can make up for it on this next couple. Go 49 Bowman again. This one's Bob Feller. Another one. This was actually a cracked slab. This was in an ISA holder. They gave it a four. I thought it looked really nice, deserving of the grade, but you never know. Um, there was this small issue here. That was the only real issue on the card. And then obviously the corners and stuff aren't perfect, but it is in pretty nice shape. Obviously you can see some of these corners here look really nice. Surface is nice. Hoping for at least a four. 
and a six there we go that's a nice one so it went from an isa4 to an sgc6 that that is what we are looking for that is awesome one of my favorite sets and so a plus two from isa so you guys go out all buy isa cards and crack them send an sgc i'm just kidding don't actually do that they generally suck but that is sweet that's exactly what we were looking for this one was another crack and resub. This is a 69 Aaron, and this one was a GAI 5. So I bought it on eBay as a GAI 5. Again, hoping for the same grade, hoping for a 5. Okay, and it's, we got the 5. I had this for a while in the 5, and it was like impossible to sell. So I'm glad the crossover went well. Now people may actually want it in an SGC slab. Which is kind of weird because it's the exact same card, but people are weird like that. I think almost all the rest of these are going to be T206s. I think there's one more that is not. And most of them are just commons and stuff. This one here is a Sovereign back at least. So doesn't look too bad. Hoping for like a 1.5 or a 2. 2 is not bad. Now these are mostly just PC items of my dad's that we added in to get up to the 20 cards or whatever. A Joe Tinker, really no need to hide the grade on this one. It's missing a corner, all beat up. Authentic, Let's see what's next. A Piedmont 150, this one should be, okay, it's an authentic. Looks like they knocked it for some color added there, but a Maggi. It's a pretty cool and popular card. Obviously not the error Maggi, but even his normal one is kind of worth a little bit more than a common because of that super popular error. This one here is the last non-T206 card, the 59 top spawn. This one, I think I was hoping for a six, which now looking at it seems a little bit strong. Maybe a five, five and a half. Okay, five and a half. The spawn, there's actually three different versions of it. None of them are really that much rarer but it's just on the back. This says born in 1921 uh, up here. And some of the other ones say born in 1931. And then there's like a third one that I don't remember. But that's basically what I was looking for on the spawn. That was basically just a one to fill the order. Here is another T206. I think most of these are just commons. Yeah, so there's a one. Let's see what's next. Another Piedmont 350, another common. This one's altered. I don't know if it's because the tape on the back or what, but these ones aren't as needed to get a good grade on. These are kind of just fillers, like I mentioned. Another SGC one. Let's see, Piedmont 150. This one's got paper loss, so it's a one. Sweet Capital 150, more paper loss. Another one. And these last two. This one's got paper loss, so this is either going to be a one or altered. Let's just cross our fingers and hope we can get one that's above a 1.5. Let's see. That one's authentic. Let's see. Give us a 1.5 or a two. End off the video on a good note. A three. Okay. So there you go. Nice T206 grade to end off the video. So thank you to everybody for watching. Let me know what one was your favorite. Bob Feller was the highlight of the day. These two awesome cards also. Kind of wish they would have flip-flopped the grades, but either way, overall, a pretty good submission. Got roughed up on a couple of them, but a couple of them, mainly these two crossover ones over here, made up for it. So all in all, a pretty good submission. Now there's not going to be a giveaway in this video, but make sure to stay tuned. My next video that should be posting Thursday I'm going to be going over the giveaway for 750 subscribers and I'll be introducing the stuff that I'm going to give away for a thousand subscribers. So stay tuned. Next video, got a lot of giveaways coming soon. So stay tuned for all that. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.